Hey everyone. Um, so I'm pretty new to Immortals, but uh, I've run a bunch of vault defenses, and this is still a work in progress, but um, this is the build that I've come up with. Um, so Conjuration of Light is just, you know, obviously huge in PvP. Make yourself invincible for three seconds. Um, judgment, do some damage, slow them down, um, and then stun them if they're in that area when it goes off. Um, and then, well, let me just back up. So this, I have the, uh, the essence for this that, because I couldn't really, didn't really find anything that made more sense for this build. This isn't the, that great, but it, it is nice. Gives you a shield worth 8% of the damage you do during Conjuration of Light. Um, so Judgment, the essence I'm using is um, anyone struck by Judgment, they take 8% increased damage for 3 seconds, and that's from everyone. So that's uh, real big. And then this is a nice little PvP interrupt, the explosive shield. Um... It causes knockback, so it'll interrupt them if they're channeling or in the middle of, you know, if you happen to time it right when they're about to press an ability, you can um, basically cancel it. Um, and it does a pretty good amount of damage, and you get three uses of it. And then Sacred Chains, um, I have two different essences. Uh, one, that the Frozen Chains, it does a little more damage than, you know, regular Sacred Chains, and it um, freezes them, stuns them for three seconds. And then also um, the helmet enemies that are hit by it are pulled together, which is kind of kind of like knockback. It just it makes them not be able to do anything for a second, which is nice. And it groups them up, which is in general good for anyone um, for the most part if you can hit multiple targets because they're all right next to each other. Now I should also mention my primary attack. Uh, and this is a point of debate um, as to which Crusader primary attack is best for PvP between the two. So leave a comment below and let me know which one you think is better for PvP. I think it depends on the situation, um, whether you're in Battleground or Vault. Um, but let me know what you think. I've been using Sacred Fire um, in Battlegrounds because, as you can see, there's a, an essence on it where it hurls waves of flame so that is a great way to interrupt if um someone is trying to activate an idol or if they're trying to bandage themselves and you're running towards them and you can basically hit them quicker with the wave of flame than you would if you ran all the way to them you just launch just launch a wave of flames so um and the other problem is so that that essence that hurls the flames is a main hand weapon essence and the only other abilities that you can affect with your main hand essences are sweep attack and falling sword which i'm not using um so that leads me to want to use this just because i hate having an item with an essence on it that doesn't affect any of the abilities i'm using but i do think there's a really good argument for punish um because as soon as you hit someone now you have hardened senses for two seconds and your block chances increase by 30%. Now the reason I don't use that in Battlegrounds, besides the fact if you look at the damage, this one does a lot more damage, even though the low end is slightly lower, but the high end is much higher in terms of how much it can hit for. Um, but one of the problems with Punish is that you have to actually hit someone with your primary attack to activate the Hardened Senses, and as a Crusader or Melee class in general, it's hard to get to that point, especially it's free-to-play where you're weaker, it's hard to just get into the action of battle where you can actually hit someone with your primary attack. Oftentimes you're getting CC'd, stunned, you know, you don't even get to the point where you can hit them with that, so that's another reason why I was using Sacred Fire. Um... But there is an essence for punish, but it would have to be on your offhand, um, which, while you have hardened senses, anytime you block an attack, it deals damage to nearby enemies. That's a nice combination, but since it's your offhand, it would take away my spinning shield essence. You basically, I wouldn't be able to use spinning shield. Um, so, it is 
a, a, a debate between these two. I'm actually considering going with Punish, um, since, you know, the, like I said, the wave of, of flame that you shoot out is more like I use it for an interrupt, um, but it doesn't actually do that much damage. And it is really nice to have the block chance. The other advantage of Sacred Fire is that if there are multiple enemies standing next to each other, you hit one for the damage it says here, but then near, you know, other enemies that are next to them, you'll hit them for 25% of that damage. So you can hit multiple targets at once, which is nice. But then again, in, in Vault, it might not be the best because there's only, it's only four and four. You're probably not going to get them. It's not often that they're going to be standing next to each other. So I would actually consider switching to Punish, um, but I would really like to use that offhand essence if I'm going to, and then that takes away Spinning Shield. So leave a comment below. Let me know what you think between these two um, primary attacks, which one is the best to use. For now, I'm using Sacred Fire with the, the Wave of Flame. Um, as for the gear, um, I'm using my PvP gear. Don't mind the uh, many, many legendaries here. I, I need to make some decisions um on what to get rid of but th most of this gear isn't as you should do for for pvp whether it's battlegrounds or vault this isn't all the highest um combat rating gear but it's the what has the best stats for pvp which is number one strength number two vitality number three fortitude basically damage is your your main focus some increased health is secondary and then armor pen and armor from the fortitude but armor pen specifically to increase your overall damage um as for sets i've been running a four piece mount banks for pvp um just in general it's kind of hard to survive um as a free-to-play player especially in battlegrounds um but you know melee melee classes are at a disadvantage in pvp to begin with and then um personally and I, I know some people would agree that i think crusader is the weakest class of all in pvp although it has great potential don't get me wrong but you know if you're running banner or something and buffs basically to help your party that can be those can be very helpful but for the most part you don't survive very long unless you're you know you put money into the game and you've got high resonance and you can survive longer um so survival is kind of an issue as free to play and especially as a crusader so i've been running a four piece mount bank um gives you a 20 percent chance when you take damage um to give yourself a, a shield for 33 percent of your life that's huge now the six piece is debatable most people have said that it doesn't um it's not worth it and i kind of agree Basically, what it does is one in four of the times that you get the shield from Mount Banks, when it expires, um, whether it expires from time running out or from being used up, it, it will explode for 40% of your max life, which is quite a bit. Um, so for me, that'd be close to, you know, somewhere between 35 and 40,000 damage, which is really, really nice. But it's one in four times that you get is that you get that that mountain bank shield, which itself is only one in five times that you take that you take damage. Um, so it's just not high enough of a chance to be worth it, as even though it does hit very hard. Although if you have that and you don't have two pieces of anything else, then go ahead and use it. Um, and the other, <clears throat> I use <coughs> excuse me two piece grace um for my other two items uh this is what i've been running in battlegrounds and vault um even though my current build doesn't have a ton of continual damage um another good two piece might be um as it shall boss that increases um primary attack damage um but i personally i think um for free to play and for Crusader, four piece mount banks, at least two piece, but thirteen then it's only thirteen percent of your max life, so that's really not very much. So four piece mount banks and two piece of something else just to help with damage. Um, now since I'm not using dash, I'm not using that set that increases damage after dash. Although I will be probably switching to dash once I get the new essence uh, for Crusaders that causes it to stun it's a targeted thing and it stuns the person and knocks back nearby enemies 
But for now, my shield, the shield charge just doing damage. I mean, it, it's just not useful enough in my eyes. So uh, that would be, it would be good to switch to um, the two piece that uh, increases um, damage after using dash. And I, I guess a grace. What is it? Not. Gloom guides. Yeah, increase damage by 15% after using dash. That could also be useful, but like I said, I'm not using dash on this particular build. Um, seems to work well though with these skills in this set. And of course, this should go without saying, but for those of you who don't know, your Paragon should always be set to Gladiator if you have it, which I highly recommend, especially as free to play. And again, especially as Crusader um, in PvP situations. The main thing you're looking for is that cheat death. Um, you know, when a player would kill you, it gives you a shield that absorbs damage, you know, puts you to one life instead of dying. And you, you can't move for three seconds, but then you come back um, with 60% of your life. So that is huge, and it can only happen every two minutes, but still. And then there's also a bunch of life and damage nodes in here. And those, as I said, damage is to the, high, the highest priority, then um, life, and then armor pen for uh, PvP. So that's... I really highly recommend Gladiator for PvP as a free-to-play player. But... Um, Mastermind and Soldier can also be beneficial if you have the right uh, group. These other ones literally will do not like these don't apply against players. So um, really Gladiators makes the most sense, but Mastermind Soldier can be used as well if you don't have Gladiator, but I highly recommend Gladiator. Um, so that's my build for defending the vault as an immortal um and like i said there's some definitely some changes that can be made to this um but this has been working pretty well for me so here's some vault footage and quick tip right here as long as you don't move in the beginning you can see we're like shiny yellow you can't take damage until that buff runs out it's like five or ten seconds as long as you don't move um you can't get hurt um, a, lot, a lot of times um, shadows will spawn camp they'll be up there right next to you just wait for them to use all their cooldowns and then uh, and then start fighting so um, here's my build um, use judgment to make them take 8% increased damage for these seconds shoot some explosive shields give yourself a shield with conjuration of life Sacred chains to freeze them and pull them together. And it works out pretty well. And then you win. <laughs> Hopefully. So, uh, there's my build for free to play crusaders um, as immortals defending the vault. Uh, I find it works pretty well. Like I said, there's definitely some changes I, I'm going to be making, but um, this is a good starting spot, and, um, <clears throat> and the build does work pretty well. So, uh, if you learned something, and if you appreciate this video, please leave a like. If there's anything else you'd like to see, or if you have any uh, alternate builds, other ideas for vault defense builds, uh, leave a comment below. And if you would like to see more Diablo Immortal videos or just support me, please consider subscribing. And I will see you in the next one.